Hello and uh, welcome to the end of, <laughs> not the end of the world, but this is a really, really random place that I'm actually driving at the moment. I'll, uh, I'll have to put a map up on the screen to show you where I am because you wouldn't believe I'm on this little spit of land, this little spit of, well there's nothing here apart from cows. I'm just driving up this little tiny narrow lane. I've come through Barrow and Furness, um, a very industrial area, a very built up area. Um, I was actually in my last video or a previous video, I was actually at the lifeboat station at uh, Row Island, a little tiny spit of island on a little tiny causeway type thing. And now I'm on the other side. Um, I've got a castle over there on a little island. I've got lots of grass and like, it almost like sandbanky sort of mud flax type of, you know, streams and estuary types of little bits. And you've got this great big cow down here next to me right now. Hello, mate. You are a big boy, aren't you? Look at this for a cow. Oh, can I spin my camera around for you and have a look? He's just chomping his way. There he is down there. <laughs> chomping his way. All right, matey got some young and up here in front of us as well so uh, yeah we'll have to make sure but I'm at South Warnley South Warn Warnley Wal Walney South Warnley Nature Reserve um, it says it's a three pound fee for what what three pound fee for what Cause I'm not paying fees for anything but yeah I come through the the industrial part um, hello young cows and the roads have gradually got narrower and narrower. There's some nice photographs down here, but obviously there's nowhere to park as such. Um, and then, the, yeah, like I said, the roads got narrower and narrower, and now I've ended up in this little spit of land. Uh, the plan was to come round here and have a look. I've never been here before. It's just a random place with random nothing. It's a nature reserve. There's some hides there for birds. Um, yeah, really cool. Um, come across the bridge. Yeah, now I'm here. <laughs> so let's see if I can actually make a video out of it. Are you watching this thinking, is he going anywhere with this? Or is he just driving and talking? Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I think I'm going to end up parking on the other end of the spit. This is a long spit of land that goes down the side of Barrow and Finesse. Um, but what I don't want to do is be walking around where the cows are because I don't like them. Right, let's see what happens when I get to the end of this road because we're nearly there. Right, so I parked up at the end of the road. I've just had a look on my map, and uh, yeah, I'll, put, I'll show you where I've come to. Um, I'm at the visitor centre. Uh, it's parking is free here, so that's fine. It's three pound entry to actually, I think, go on to the nature reserve uh, if you're into your binoculars and your birds and stuff like that. Uh, I think there's seals. I think you get seals down here as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to brave it. I'm going to put my boots on, I'm going to put my coat on, take my waterproofs with me and I'm going to go for a walk and try and find a lighthouse. I know where to find it, I know where it is, I can see it, but it's getting there and trying to walk past the cows because you all don't like cows, do we, when we're out in nature? Yeah, try not to spook any and uh, try and stay away from the young ones. But you know me, I don't really like cows, to be honest. Mm. All right, get some fluids down me and then we're off. So I'm on foot and I brought my binoculars and I'm glad I brought my binoculars out because I thought, well, I might see something random. I might be able to have a look over into the distance, look over to Blackpool or something that you can see from here. Um, but I got talking to a gentleman who's his first day volunteering in the visitor centre and uh, he mentioned about seals and went, oh yeah, it'd be cool to see the seals. And he said, come in here and have a look. So I just went into the visitor centre, had a look on the screen, the TV screen. They're actually down there now. So. I've got a bit of a mile or so walk uh, to walk around the coast and get right down on the edge, on the, right on the spit. But I reckon with a long lens, a pair of binoculars, we're gonna see quite a few seals and there's two or three pups down there as well, apparently. So we're gonna go for a walk in the nature reserve. Not something I do very often, but it's a big loop as well. Uh, I took a picture of it on my phone. It's a big loop, you can walk all the way around and uh, we'll make our way around the actual loop, but pretty cool. Let's get through the gate and we'll start to hit the coastline and hopefully avoid the cows. And I'm now walking on sand as well. So let's go and find some seals. Oh, that's an interesting video for you, isn't it? 
Bit of a fun fact for you as well while I'm making my way around. Miss Peggy Braithwaite, uh, which is on the actual signpost back there, uh, she was the only female lighthouse keeper in the UK or in the world, I'm not sure, but the only female lighthouse keeper. So there you go, and now there's a hide named after her. Fun fact. <laughs> not like me to have one of them, is it really? So making my way along the path, just come across a little pillbox. You get these randomly dotted all over the place, danger keep outs kind of thing. And just been walking along, talking to this couple here as well. Uh, they're conservationists, so they're out having a look. Never been down this area. And I just said about the seals, so we're walking that way to go and find them. Uh, just coming up on the lighthouse now. So the lighthouse is just there, as you can see there. Uh, so I'll come back and get some shots of that once we've had a look and seen if we can see the seals. So uh, we're getting there. You're live on video now. <laughs> no, you're all right. Just don't swear. I swear a lot. On your best behaviour. On your best behaviour. Yeah. So we've been sitting in this hide now for a little while and uh, been sitting with this couple. I don't know their names. Like you know, normally, I walk across beaches with many people and never ask their names. <laughs> um, yeah, we're sitting in the hide looking at the seals. Now, I would like to show you them, uh, but there's not a chance that that camera is going to reach them. So I've done a little bit of video on this thing just to try and show you where they are. Uh, they're, they're a fair way off. How far do you reckon that is? 500 yards? More? Half a mile? It's, it's got to be five minutes. Yeah, it's, they're a long way off, so unfortunately I can't show you any better. But I've taken a couple of photographs and I'll do a bit of a zoom in on them for you just to have a look. So you can see they're there. And there are a couple of pups. You can see the, the white fur, which is pretty cool. Uh, these two are watching everything, absolutely everything. I'm like, just taking pictures. Oh, look at the light over there. Um, so I've got a couple of the castle. The herons just took off. That's made that quite a good little shot, actually. Uh, a little bit of interest, but I've been watching the heron down the bottom as well. Again, I'm not a wildlife person, as you know, but at least I've had a go. Um, I think from here I'm going to head round to the lighthouse, get a couple of shots of that, and then we'll head off and carry the loop round back to the uh, toilets and coffee. Okay, lighthouse time. Uh, I did shoot an image down that way as I was looking at the high, just randomly as I was looking round at the, the heron. Uh, you've already seen it as well, and the lovely golden colours on the sands, and then the castle was in the sort of dark bit. But you've just got these lovely lines with the, you know, the lines leading you sort of like estuary lines and that. Uh, really, really, really pretty that was. I think that's come out really, really well. Uh, the seals, like I said, they're, they're a way off, way over there on that spit of land there. But it's good to see them. Nice to have a chat with uh, that couple, which I still didn't ask their names. <laughs> it was random, and I. Um, it was really nice having a bit of a chat with someone as well, which is quite cool. We are on the beach. You can see here you've got this lovely sandy beach stretching all the way along here. Uh, yeah, pretty awesome. So let's see if we can get a shot of this lighthouse and try and put something behind it that looks a bit more interesting rather than that horrible, nasty. In fact, somewhere around here probably wouldn't do, be a bad shot. Then I might be able to get down lower and hide and use some of the grasses underneath. Um, but I think going that side, shooting this direction would be best. Then we've got the sky behind it. But sometimes the hardest part is not finding the location to get a shot because, I mean, there's a lovely lighthouse to sit in there. Do you know what I mean? The, the hardest part really is to try and um, take a good shot of it. And I don't want the power station or the, you know, barren finesse in the background. We've got the date district up behind it. Uh, and so what I've noticed is as I walked along, I come across this little gap sort of here and you can see the lighthouse sort of sticks up in between it. And then I'm getting the castle behind it as well, but the castle's just missing. So I've just had to come across slightly and just lift the camera up a little bit. And then I've got the castle just in that bottom corner, just there. And then the lighthouse um, hidden 
you know, all the ugly bits hidden behind the grasses. Uh, so I think that works quite nicely. Um, I know there's no light on it, but I still think it's a pretty cool lighthouse. It's got a nice little shape to it. It's nice and clean. And someone actually lives there. That's really, really ace. Uh, but yeah, that's a little bit of work just to get that to work, I think. Also got another position in as well and this is quite nice because I'm looking between the little blades of grass I've got these little tufts of grass which are put in the the building the main building and hiding the, like the car and all the all the bits in the bottom um, that you don't really want to see and then I've got uh, the castle over in the next corner got this really nice foreboding sky behind it really quite moody and just now literally just I started to walk away the light just literally came along and I bit of light came along there and I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I run back to that position. I don't know if I got in the right position, but the light just kissed it. Well, bush, dark background, jet black background. The sunlight was on the front. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. If the light comes through again, I'm gonna get a same shot from here because he's gonna make the back of that. Oh, it's gonna stand out, something chronic. It really is if it happens. So I'm just gonna hang around here for a few minutes, maybe have a banana and uh, see if that sun pops out again. Taking another couple of shots as I walk down and the lighthouse is on this side. Uh, I stood for ages after having a banana. I stood for ages and ages waiting for a bit of sunlight to catch it. And it did, I think. I think the shot's pretty good. Again, because the lighthouse is all illuminated and the background was all nice and dark and really moody. And every time you move around a little bit further, you get another shot. So I've got another view of it there. And it also looks quite good sticking up on its own. But I'm going to have to stop. Stop taking pictures of the lighthouse because you've probably already seen half a dozen or a dozen and uh, yeah no it's just it's too many um, but I've just taken two random shots and I'm gonna put them up on the side of the screen now for you um, do you prefer it with a lot of the grasses in the bottom so you've got a little strip of sky the lighthouse in the top thirds and all the grasses in the bottom sort of as a as a foreground or do you prefer it when I've got it facing up in the air slightly so you've got a lot more of that big moody thick dark sky uh, with less of the foreground uh, so it's like lighthouse and sky rather than lighthouse and uh, grasses which of the two do you prefer let me know what you think because I can never decide whether I want more sky or more grass see the castle over my shoulder now over there where I was the other side of that last night uh, you can actually see the the lifeboat station in the distance it's a nice castle but probably not the best one to take a photograph of um, purely because of the background on it if you can get yourself in a position maybe further round and shoot across it might be quite nice massive massive big sand dunes or sand banks uh, you can actually walk out to that island uh, from what I understand, but you'd have to do it on a, you know, a, a tide going out probably. Tide coming back in is not probably favourable. Uh, the sun's keep popping out, but I'm getting to the end of my little trail now, the end of the walk. I'm not back, not far from the visitor centre. Got an old pier by the looks of it down here as well. That could be interesting to photograph on some high water. If you're ever over here, you've got all these bits sticking out. Maybe having those bits sticking out with the castle behind, I don't know. There might be a shot there. But yeah, I think we're about, about done. So I'm gonna make myself my way along this pebbly beach and just listen to the pebbles under my feet for a while. Well, I'll make my way back to the van, back to the visitor center. Then I'm gonna get the kettle on and I'm gonna find some random place to park up for this evening, up on the north side of this little spit. So yeah, that's my plan. So I'll see you next time. Don't know where, don't know when, don't know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, but I'll make it fun nevertheless. Or I'll try to. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. As usual, please, the thumbs up would always mean a lot to me. If you're not already a member of my Patreon, 
you might like to take a look at that. Like for instance, I've I posted on there today from where I was, the Watt Breed Words location, tell people where I am actually here and now, um, rather than seeing it several weeks. Maybe take a look, help support the channel. It's much, much appreciated really, it's to everybody that is a supporter. Ciao for now, see you soon. And hopefully you've enjoyed this random one. It's been fun.